Hello and welcome to Bay College's video lectures for Math 095 Basic Algebra. In this video, we're going to look at section 8.4. Since we're dealing with uh, systems of linear equations, we're going to look at their applications that deal with distance, numbers, amounts, and costs. The first one, we're going to look at amounts in terms of age. These numbers, uh, it says Steve is 18 years older than his sister, Linda. Nine years from now, he'll be twice her age. How old are Steve and Linda now? So we've read the problem, and hopefully we understand the terminology. And we're going to implement those uh, uh, application uh, strategies that we discussed in previous videos. So we've read it. We're comfortable with the terminology. We're going to read it again and say, what's the given information? Well, Steve is 18 years older than his sister, Linda. Well, we have to assign variables here because I don't know Steve's age and I don't know Linda's age, but I am given this statement, which is an equality statement. Is, we focus on those key words. That's given information. Steve is 18 years older than his sister. Then we see this st next statement, nine years from now, so nine years later, he'll be twice her age. How old are Steve and Linda? So let's assign those variables. Let's say we'll yet let s equal Steve's age. And we'll let l equal Linda's age. Now, from the first statement, we can start to build an equation. Steve is 18 years old older than his sister. So Steve is 18 years older than his sister, Linda. So that's our first equation. And then it says nine years from now. So in nine years, Steve will be nine years older, and Linda will be nine years older. So let's write that. Steve, in nine years, will be twice his sister's age, so twice Linda's age nine years from now. So we've essentially just translated the equation. And now we're ready to solve this system. Hopefully, at this point, you're very familiar with solving systems of linear equations, because we've done that in the previous three sections. So from this point, I'm going to let you try it on your own and uh, solve for Steve and Linda's age. Make sure you check your work in both equations and that it holds true once you find your s and l for your variables. Let's look at the next example here. It says, the length of a rectangle is 7 inches more than the width. If the perimeter is 166 inches, what are the lengths and widths? Well, when it comes to some application problems, we have to bring some prior knowledge to, uh, to the field in order to solve something like this. When we deal with rectangles and we're told something about perimeter, maybe it's helpful to draw an illustration. So I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle. And the translation says the length of a rectangle is 7 inches more than its width. So the length is 7 more than its width. So I'm going to use w as my variable. So 7 plus w is my length. So I actually built an equation just from that first statement. The length is 7 more than the width. It says if the perimeter is 166 inches, this is where we have to recall how do we find the perimeter. Well, if we recall the formula for finding the perimeter of a rectangle, it's two L's plus two W's will give us that perimeter. So now let's just put in the information we know. Well, the perimeter is 166 inches times two L's uh, plus two W's, so we have this equation. So we actually have two equations with two variables. Again, it's another system of equations. Since we already have this one, L equals 7 plus W, we can do a substitution. Replace L for this value. So again, it's a system of linear equations. I'll let you try it out and solve this one. Since you have your two equations built, do a substitution. Find that width and length, and make sure you check your work. Let's look at this one here. It says, Bay College Drama Club sold 311 tickets for a play. Student tickets cost 50 cents each, and non-student tickets cost $1.50 each. If a total of $385.50 in tickets were sold, how many of each type were sold? So we read the problem. 
hopefully we understand, OK, we're dealing with a cost here and uh, a total amount of money. And hopefully we're familiar with uh, the terminology here. And uh, I just want to point out, be careful. This says 50 cents. This says $1.50. We have to have similar units. Hopefully we know that 50 cents is $0.5 or half a dollar. So <clears throat> let's see if we can start to build our equation with the given information. We have two types of tickets being sold, student tickets and non-student tickets. So I'm going to say, well, S is going to be my student ticket. And I'll let N be the non-student ticket. So my variables kind of match what I'm looking to find. What do we know? Well, we know that they sold 311 tickets. So if we have two types of tickets, their total amount is going to be the total sold. So our student tickets plus our non-student tickets is the total amount of tickets. That was given information. And we know uh, the total of $385.50 was made from the sale of these tickets. Well, how do we find the value? Well, we take it's uh, how much they cost times the number we sold. So if we say, well, 50 cents were for the student tickets plus the $1.50 for every non-student ticket, this will give us the total amount we make, which is $385.50. So and maybe we want to have our units in there so we don't forget what our units are. Now if we look at this, we have a linear equation, s plus n equals 311. And another linear equation, 0.5s plus 1.5n equals 385.5. This is our system of linear equations. Now if you don't like to work with decimals, you can get rid of them. We've covered that. We can multiply everything just by 10, and there wouldn't be any more decimals to deal with. And maybe you could do a substitution, or maybe you want to do an elimination. Your choice, but I'll leave it at this for you to get that practice with solving systems of linear equations. The hardest thing about applications is setting them up, building your equations. Make sure you read it, read it again, and always check your work. All right, here we have one more application. So let's look at this one here. It says, Beth travels 5 miles per hour less than twice as fast as Adam. Starting at the same point in the same direction, and notice they're underlined just to draw your attention to them, they are 80 miles apart after 4 hours. Find their speeds. So if we think about what's happening here, we're given uh, something about rates, and we're given something about distance in a time of 4 hours. What we have to do here is, bring something to the table. And that equation that relates all three of these uh, pieces of information is this equation right here. Distance equals rate times time. So we have to assign a, an, a, ver a variable here. And if we read the first sentence, it says, Beth travels 5 miles per hour less than twice as fast as Adam. So I'm going to say, well, let x be Beth's rate. And let y be Adam's rate. And of course, I'm abbreviating for time's sake here. And that first statement gives me a relationship. It says, Beth travels 5 miles per hour less than twice as fast as Adam. So Beth's speed is uh, twice Adam's, or we're using y for Adam, less 5 miles an hour. So 5 miles an hour less than twice Adam's speed. So we have this equation, this relationship. In the next statement, starting at the same point in the same direction, so maybe I want to draw an illustration. They start at the same point, and they go in the same direction. But after four hours, they're 80 miles apart. So Adam's not going as fast, because Beth is going twice as fast as him, less five miles an hour. So we have our first equation here, the relationship of their rates. And now we have to look at their distances. Well, if we have a difference of 80 miles, that is the key term there, difference. So if we think about it in terms of this equation, distance equals rate times time, let's think about Beth's uh, distance traveled. Well, she travels for four hours, her time times her rate, which is 
x, 4x. That is her distance traveled, rate times time. And if we look at Adam's rate, well, Adam, we're using y for that. And he travels for a time of 4 hours. So 4 times y would be the distance they travel. Well, what we're told is that they're 80 miles apart. There is a difference of 80 miles. So if we find their difference, it should equal 80 miles. So we have 4x minus 4y equals 80. We have x equals 2y minus 5. We have two linear equations, two variables. From this point, we can go ahead and set it up. And since we already have it in this term, I recommend doing a substitution. If x is this value, we can substitute this value in for x. So try that yourself. Good luck. Keep practicing. Thank you for watching.